Hi, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about a few different ways in which we may want to compare lists, depending on what is important in the comparison. So here, we're going to take a quick peek at four different ways of how we might want to compare lists. As usual, the Jupyter Notebook that uh, goes along with this video is available in the GitHub repo linked below this video. So the first one is when identity matters. We're interested in the identity of the list that we're comparing. So let me give that a quick heading. So identity matters, like so. So in this situation, we just want to know whether two list objects are the same object or not. And so for this type of comparison, we want to use the is operator, which is the identity equality operator. So for example, let's say we have these three lists. List one equals one, two, three. List two equals, and it will contain the same elements. It's called list two. And then we have list three, which is going to point to list one. So in this case, list one and list two are not the same objects, but list one and, and list three are. So we have that list one is list two. That is going to be false once I fix my typo. So as you can see, this is false. On the other hand, list one is list three, that is going to be true because they're pointing to the same object. So that's one way of comparing two lists. Basically, are they the same object more so than do they just contain the same values? Now, when it comes to comparing, do they contain the same values? We have a number of options. The first one is when we have order and duplicates matter. So in this case, we don't care about whether the two list objects are the same object. We just want to know if they have the same content. And in particular, the order of the content matters as well as duplicate objects. For example, these two lists here, if we take one, two, three, and four, and this list over here, four, three, two, one, those would not be considered equal because Yes, they have the same elements, but they're not in the same order. In the same way, these two lists would not be equal either. We would not consider them equal. One, one, two, two, and compare it to one and two. So yes, the order is kind of the same, but as you can see here, we have repeated elements in the list. Here we do not. And let's say that we do care about those things. So obviously we can use just the equals equals operator, right? We can say one, two, three, four equals equals one, two, three, four. That's going to return true. On the other hand, if we try the other ones like one, two, three, four equals four, three, two, one, that's going to be false. And then those other two are going to be false as well. So that's the pretty standard way of doing that. Okay, so these are the two most common ways of comparing lists, identity, and then just the actual equality of the elements inside the list. Now, obviously, this assumes that the elements inside this list can be compared using equality, right? So if you've got custom objects that don't implement an equals, then you're going to run into issues because even if they have the same kind of state, the same value, they're going to use the default comparison in Python, which is going to be the ID, which is going to be basically the, the memory address of those. And so you will get a false comparison. Okay, so now the next one that we may be interested in is when the order is ignored, but duplicates do matter. So this one is a little bit more tricky. Let's say that we have these, and I'm just gonna copy the example straight from the notebook that's in the GitHub repo. So let's say that we have those lists over here. What we really want to know here is whether the number of each distinct element matches between the two lists, because we don't care about the order. So in this case, you can see that if you look at the one, we have one, one in each of the lists. The twos, we have one, two in each of the list. The three, we have one in each list. And the four, we have two in each list. So when we want to consider that order doesn't matter, but duplicates matter, these three lists would actually be compared equal. And the easiest way to do this is to use the counter class in the collections module. 
A counter is essentially a multi-set. You can think of it as a dictionary with a key for each unique element in the list and a corresponding value of the number of times the element appears in the list. So for the example above, this is what we would have if we were to look at a counter for each one of those. We would have, you know, for each list, we would have one, that's the key, appeared one times, two appeared one times, three appeared one time, four appeared two times. So we can implement this type of equality testing this way. We're going to have to go to the collections module and we're going to import counter. There's other ways you can do it as well. I just find this is a pretty straightforward way of doing it. So let's go ahead and create two lists. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, and four. And we're going to do another list, list two, and that's going to be one, four, three, two, and four. So as you can see, we have the same elements, but not in the same order. And let's go ahead and create a counter out of each one. So if we do a counter from list one, this is what we get, right? We get this dictionary, basically. Counter is a dictionary. It's a specialized dictionary. You can see that we just have basically one appeared one time, two one time, and so on. Four appeared two times. And if we do the same thing for list two, we'll get a similar result. We'll get that we have this counter over here. And what we can do now, we can check the equality of those two counters. So we can say counter list one equals counter list two, like so. And that's going to return true. So this is a pretty quick way of doing that kind of comparison. And then finally, we have another type of comparison where the order is ignored. So we don't care about the order. And the duplicates are also ignored, like so. So for example, let's say that we have the following lists and we would consider them to be equal. One, two, two, three, three, four, and four, three, two, one. The ordering is not the same. And you can see that here two is repeated, three is repeated. Here two is present, but not repeated. Three is present, but not repeated. In order to do this kind of comparison, we can easily do it using Python sets by essentially converting the lists to sets, which will result in the duplicate elements being ignored and comparing the two resulting sets using equals equals, where order is ignored since sets do not have ordering, right? So we basically are able to achieve this. So let's try it out. Let's say list one equals one, two, two, three, three, four. And let's say that list two is equal to four, three, two, one, like so. And let me fix that, let's call it list two. And now all I need to do is to basically convert each list into a set. And we can do that. And so we get true here. And there you go, four different ways of comparing lists. The other thing to note is that this approach of using the counter, which is a dictionary with the keys as the values, or set where each value in the list becomes an element of the set, this of course will only work if the elements in your list are hashable and support equality. If the, if the objects that you're putting in your list are not hashable, you certainly cannot turn it into a set because with dictionaries and sets, as you well know, the key values in the dictionaries and the values of the set need to be hashable. So if they're not, you won't be able to create a counter or a set out of those. And that's it. Thank you for watching.